you um do you remember how you told me that you know you show up as a mirror on uh, steamy mirror and you'd say something like yo kind of thing yeah I'm okay here. if i came back right yeah if i was a ghost i'd leave you a message in the mirror or something in a way that would not be as freaky as suddenly just you know i'm I'm sitting on the couch Well, Jan, couch if you got out of a up. shower and saw the, some lettering being done in your mirror, I think that would be well, pretty no, shocking. Well, no, because I, I got up and saw that glass jam between the, the mm -hmm. counter and the stove, right? Well, you came and found it there, but if you saw it actually moving in the counter and going in there, it might be different. Well, no, because no? I've seen footsteps step over the cat. Okay, and, okay. You know, I, okay. and I chased it, remember? I like, jumped out of the tub and chased okay. it. So, so I don't think that startles me as much. But if I was sitting there... Looking at a book, you know, reading away, and I felt something was watching me, and I looked up, and there, there's a bloody glowing apparition of Marlena looking at me. Mm. That, I think, would make anybody jump in their heart, kind of go, <gasps> like this. Mm. So, But if, I, if you, so if I, you I, knew me like you knew me now, and then I passed on and you saw me standing there, I don't think you'd be afraid of me. You, uh, well, I wouldn't be afraid yeah, of you, but I yeah. think the, the, the actual of event of it happening yeah. would be very startling, and... And I think even people, I mean, you don't want to see your dad when you open your door when you go home. Of course not. Yeah, of course not. You know, open up your door and there's your dad standing at the bottom of the stairs. Right. It's pretty, that would be pretty bad. Yeah. I mean, you love your dad. Your yeah. dad would never hurt sure, you. Sure. But, you know, um, yeah, uh, you know, I, I want to go into my house, but I don't want my, you know, the... So your mom's standing My mom's standing there. Yeah, yeah, of I course, mean, of course. But if my mom were to, to walk through my room and disturb the air a bit... Mm -hmm. Or if I saw my mom as a change in light in a room, that's not as freaky as seeing a full... I mean, if we saw a full-blown apparition, and, and we have, and we've reacted to them, and we weren't freaked out, although we'd never forget it, that's one thing. Um, but to just kind of look up, and there's a ghost standing there, it's like... And, and ghosts don't usually say much, they just kind of stare at you with these dead eyes. So that would be freaky. So I think what I would do, if I were dead and I wanted Marlene to know it was me, I wouldn't probably even do the steam mirror thing. I think what I'd do is I would change the air hmm. in a way that you could see the air changing and it would be something that would catch your attention more than scare you. Yeah, what I would do if I was a ghost is I would You'd grab... scare the shit I'd out of everybody. I'd leave, no, I'd leave <laughs> gradual signs for somebody. Like yeah, first, like notes. I was here last night haunting your house. Second night. <laughs> yeah, but I was here. Yeah. You turn around, I'm there. You know, well, or don't look around because I'm right behind you with the axe or something. Yeah. Uh, I, I think who knows, who knows? I, 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 I don't know. And unless maybe ghosts that they really want to be seen. And how do we get to hear from shadows? But that's well, the it's beauty. All, it's all interpreted. That's the beauty of, ghost, ghost, of ghost, ghost, the right? her show. Yeah. If we really wanted to see somebody we really wanted them to see us we might send them a mental message like i'm here you know you might just see me if you look around i'm trying try not to scare you but right now i'm in the room with you and there's if you look up don't be frightened i'm there i think mostly they visit us in dreams but i think if you were going to have a ghost visit you and they didn't want you to keel over from a cardiac arrest. They'd probably alert you in some more subtle fashion. Maybe moving things around. Um, maybe um, coming in dreams. Maybe. Mm. But I think, I think I would just disturb the air until you had all your night shots set up. Mm. And had all the VP with you so they didn't think you were nuts. Mm. What do you think? You still want to scare people, don't you? Well, no, 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 no. I'm just listening. I'm just, just thinking of all the different things about that, you know. But well, um, share with people. Share with the people. Well, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I, I, I'm more um, reserved in my quick judgment about things. But, uh, yeah, I. Uh, You're more reserved in your quick judgment. Well, I don't know. <laughs> What the hell I'm saying. How could it be that, more reserved? That, I would have put on the screen, yeah. she's more reserved in her quick judgment. Yeah. And figure that one out. Well, you should see on the other tape I put together for you. Yeah. Got, well, you'll see it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> not as famous as Jan, but known about in town. Yeah. These little kind of like flashing stars. It's, oh, on, it's on your that's tape. That's cute, that's cute.
You know, I mean, having a bit of fun taking the Mickey out of Marlena, but uh, yeah, no, share share with us what you think is going on. I mean, we we alluded earlier to them big bloody things that were in your in your um, office area. Oh what, sure. What the heck was that all the about? The big sheet, you mean? Yeah. The flying sheet. Yeah, like a sheet, like a literal. Put a sheet over your head, but it wasn't a sheet over your head. It was a ghost or something. Check it out. Tell them, Marlena. Yeah, sure. I um was. Well, let me tell it for God's sake. I am, but the way yeah. you respond is like on cue, Marlena. <laughs> well, uh, well, because you keep on giving me cues. Well, that's because I want You're you to. You're saying tell it, so I'm I'm waiting for you to give me the cue. That's because I want you to show your story. Well, I am, but you, I can't tell you. Give Share me the your cue. story. There you are. Now you got the cue again. All right. So anyhow, uh, I will share my story. Uh, it was about, um, I guess, a year ago now. I was, I live in a kind of a medieval mansion kind of a place, and it's kind of dark and spooky to start with. But uh, well, you should explain why it's medieval because. Well, I want to talk about the sheet first. Okay, but I think yeah. if people have to understand that you live in Richmond, B.C., and it's not medieval. But what she's done yeah, to her place yeah, yeah. is beyond bizarre. Hmm. Well, I, I don't some, know about that. I think it's well, rather tasteful. Well, it is, but yeah. you know, you know, like you can use words like bizarre without it sounding bad. Mm, okay. Her place is is is, is cool. I'm I'm the biggest flaunter of your place, yeah. other than you. Yeah, that's true. So anyhow, I'll, I live in a. I live in I'll a, get her to send me some photographs tonight. We'll put them right into this episode, mm. so you can see what her place is like. It's trippy. Go ahead. You stop that, Flock, flacking, flacking in my face. Okay, anyhow, I'm getting irritated with this girl, um, but that's part of what we do. We Always get, get, we get irritated. kind of bitchy between each other. Mostly her, not me. Yeah. Anyhow, let me tell you the story. I uh, was coming up the stairs of my medieval place about uh, oh, I guess it was about nine o'clock at night. It was dark, uh, one of the darker months of the year, and. Uh, I went upstairs to check the lights or something. I forget what I went up there and um, I came up the stairs quite quietly. So I think I startled uh, the ghost because they were in one of the studies and um, they uh, they they looked or it looked like just like a bed sheet. I mean. It didn't. It didn't have uh, the texture of cloth, but it had the shape of, of 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 a of a sheet of a bed sheet. Now I interrupt you for yeah, a second. Yeah. Was it like a like as if it was hanging on a line, or was it like over, like as if it was overhead? It, it would. It would. The way it would have been it would be. It would have been like a a bed sheet had been crumpled on the floor, and all of a sudden pulled itself up, and just pulled its whole self into a kind of a long, shape like like if you grabbed a. Um, if you grabbed a bed sheet and pulled it through the air, it would all kind of pull behind it, right? But it gets a little wider towards the back, like a like delta a wing, huh? Like, like almost like a comet. Only a wider. Yeah, top. and, and it, that, that's exactly what it looked at. And out the window it went. It just went. What color was it? Kind of a, kind of a whitish gray. Was it glowy, or was it flat? No, it was kind of flat. It wasn't glowy. See, yeah. I've noticed that too. Yeah, um, yeah. A lot of. Uh, um, the the uh, the place in Wally that we were talking about mm -hmm. in the last show, mm -hmm. they were reporting seeing orbs in their house, and they also said the orbs were flat. They were, they were they were, lighted, but it was a flat light, not glowy, not like shooting bits of light everywhere. So I'm I'm beginning to think the more I hear stories like Marlena's, and the stories of flat um, flat lighted objects as opposed to glowing apparitional figures, I'm beginning to think that what we need to be looking for as ghost hunters is, um, I don't know what it is I'm trying to say here. Mm. I think it's just a sense that we've got it all wrong. We've been looking for the wrong things. And what we, we may be wanting to look for are not as obvious as the glowing figure. We're looking for the flat energy forms uh, because it's supported by orbs.